Today was the last day to apply for an absentee ballot in Alabama. You're taking a live look at the Madison County Courthouse steps in downtown Huntsville. They're empty now, but they certainly weren't earlier. And take a look at this. Earlier today, the line for voter services ran down those steps around the block and down the street. The Madison County probate judge says the county is seeing a record turnout for absentee voting this year. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Nasha Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. We're going to get right to Way 31's Will Robinson Smith. He was at the courthouse throughout the afternoon with those voters. He joins us live with how folks felt about the process and why they wanted to vote absentee. Will? Yeah, well, a long wait and cold wind certainly didn't keep hundreds of people from turning out here to the Madison County Courthouse to get their applications and, in many cases, fill out their ballots for an absentee uh, vote this election season. And they say the pandemic and other personal circumstances drove their decision to make the cause to come out here today. The line wrapping around the Madison County Courthouse brought together all kinds of voters on Thursday, including folks like Journey Fisher and Alicia Green, two first-time voters. And I'm very excited to take part in this election, so you know my voice is heard, and you know I can be a part of the difference. Across the state, more than 316,000 absentee ballot applications were requested as of Thursday, with more than 38,000 coming from Madison County. More than 33,000 people have returned their ballots so far. That now includes a 20 plus year member of the Huntsville Fire Department, Ginger White. Well, actually, I had forgotten that Tuesday was voting day and I'm going to be out of town next week. So I had to jump on it today. And um, so th thank goodness I got to get out of work and come down here and vote. And with today being the last day voters could submit an absentee ballot application, people were willing to wait in this long line. to make sure their voice is heard this election season. Oscar Trejo Jr. was one of the last people who got in line before the 430 cutoff. He said it was more comforting for him to get his vote in sooner rather than later. I was pretty much advised by my co-workers because they did it before. So I didn't want to be left behind and I didn't want to wait till the last minute. And even though the line lasted for an hour or more for some, courthouse officials also took steps to make sure older voters and those with disabilities like Andrea Gaines didn't have to wait nearly as long. They got me my paperwork. Um, my son was accommodating me. They also got him. And uh, we were in there within about 15 minutes, so it wasn't bad at all. And even those who did have to wait the full time in line said it did move along fairly readily with just a few stops and starts along the way. And everyone we saw out there, the vast majority of people, were wearing face masks while they were standing in line. And voters that we talked to this afternoon said they were glad they happy that they were glad they had the opportunity to get out and cast their ballot today. Reporting live in downtown Huntsville, Will Robinson Smith, Way 31 News. Thanks, Will. If you got an absentee ballot, make sure to drop it off at your county's elections office or postmark it by Monday, November 2nd to make sure it's counted on Election Day.